Take it as easy as you can. Now, this is the way to travel. Biohazard. Stand up on your own two feet. There's a place and time for everything, but for that sick scenario, it's already come and gone. Now this is what you can call a more rider. Hey, nice shot. Bang Shelter 7B is still there, open and ready to shelter. Took care of it.
It's quieter here, away from the sky. Let's see. This place is called Puff Duff Bluff. Boom bangs around here. This little fellow feels the world's on the edge of blowing itself up. He feels it's inspiring to see someone out there still banging away at it. Figures as long as the green keeps flowing, he doesn't care where it comes from. Thinks you've built yourself up into a walking arsenal. He can't wait to see what you do with all that gunpower. Save the world or help it go kaboom! Says that even boom makers can do some good if they make the right things explode. Just think about the tinks you can destroy with earth-shattering kabooms. What happens next depends on what you blow up. Says that life's kind of like a fuse. Sometimes it does just what you expect, and other times it catches you by surprise. Be careful. That's just what someone says right before they blow it. Thought the world was kaboomed, but it looks like something might be growing in its crater. Wonders why you put so much work into making things safer. Can't see why you join up with the myriad. They go around cutting his fuses short. Gotta test things somehow, doesn't he? But enough about you. Says his Muma Grandiosa taught him the secret source of making ammunition. And now that there's an endless need for bangs, business is booming. He was born during the baby boom back in the days, and he was so interested in the family business, he even got nicknamed Boom. He'll take the family secret with him to the grave, which could be any day now, with the world ending and all. Figures that's a testament to his skills and ability to keep it together, so far. Of course he doesn't want it, but if the world goes under, he hopes it goes with a bang. But before that, he wants to make the best of the time he's got. Boom says he's always looking for ingredients for ammunition. He has enough sulfur, but he can never get too much charcoal, so if you'll get him some of that, he'll make boom exploding gunpowder just for you. Thinks you're the straightest shooter he's ever met. Let's see.
It's Skypook Outpost. The Ankarti tribe blew life. Let's see. Plank place like this is a fire trap. Let's see. You've located the village of Hubbledon. Come on, love, with so says Kitaro la 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 rota. Cliff to flip to the alley. Boom says he's maybe the only one profiting from the way the world is burning. He's happy to put the charcoal from the scorched earth to good use. Boom says his speciality is homemade salt peter, which he makes from a dung mix his friend Moog makes for him. Collecting the various dung that makes up the special Boom Poo blend is an expedition, though, so Moog isn't giving it up for free. However, you shouldn't need to part with too much green to buy the brown from Moog for him. Boom promises he'll make it worthwhile. Wishes you'd seen what his Mooma Grandiosa used to make. She set the sky on rainbow fire with her sparkly booms. Boom welcomes you back on his terms. Toma. Says talking to you was interesting. Moog asks if you know the first rule of monster haunting. It's to go where the monsters are. To hunt, you must know the grounds of your prey. Few monsters warrant the fear we have for them. And you don't look like someone that's easily scared. You could help him out. Start with one monster and take it from there. Spot its tracks and report back. Also, bring back any poo you find. His friend Boom has a nose, and a use for that. 
I am Kashuma. Says you're right. You gotta catch them all. Don't let it wander, point it. Don't just rattle those keys. Mook says he's found keys in fluff dung before, and always wondered what they'd unlock. Discover the rest and you'll find more keys. There's plenty of poo to go around. Mook says you did good on that last monster. He hopes you have time to help him seek out the next one. It's not too far away. It shouldn't take you as long as the previous one. But that's no reason to waste time. If you keep at the haunt, you'll round them all up in no time. Moog appreciates your company. Says you should take it easy. Much harder to see outside now. The 
best kind. Could be this key. Feel the quality in that thing. Moog says he's impressed. That's another monster pinned down. Moog says that thanks to you, he has the monsters mapped out now. Once he gets the word out, your friends and allies will know what and where to avoid. He guesses you're thinking the exact opposite, and you're still eager to find more. Claims he can always help you come up with a reason. Heard you haunted up an ark for yourself. Now, that's one amazing kind of prize. Imagine what you could haunt with that. Thinks that's the kind of problem he could help solve. Thinks you might not use the ark much if the world's fine, but he'd take it out even more. Perfect for a haunting safari. Doesn't know why you try keeping things alive that need killing, especially in a world like this. Either way, though, that arc sure seems shiny. So, what we have here is an opportunity to help your next. There's a seat open on the arc should you want to... A conscious choice to be alone means you won't miss anyone. The thing we're really missing here is someone with compassion. You just seem to have passion yourself. The world would be a better place if we were left alone to handle it. Then we'd only have to talk to ourselves and that's how you get the good answers. Well, anyone in their right mind would agree you're better off on your own. Let's hope the Ark carries you all the way there. What's Says the Ark's your ride. You get to fill the seats how you please. Moog's glad you keep coming back. Wouldn't be surprised if you met again. Says he gets it. Who gets to ride shotgun in the Ark is your choice. Smart. Moog's glad you keep coming back. It's a collection of curiosa. Well spent. Boom looks excited. Can't wait to cook up, cook up a batch of special Boom sauce ammunition. Boom says that thanks to you, he's got a fresh batch of gunpowder ready to go. He's devoted his life to experimenting with various poo types for his saltpeter. That's how he came up with his special ammunition. 
And for as long as there's different dung in the mix, you never know what kind of boom candy you're going to end up with. Says it's not his first choice, but you work with what works, right? Boom, here's you found an ark. Imagine something that you could blast right into space. Can't imagine anything tougher, but he'd still like to take a crack at cracking it. Wonders what use the Ark is if this world doesn't need leaving. Experiments, maybe? Feels bad you worked so hard to help a world that was so blowed up, Ark or not. So, when are you going to blast that thing off? Taking anyone with you? Anyone with power skills? So, what we have here is an opportunity to help your next. There's a, a conscious choice to be alone means you won't miss anyone. The thing we're really missing here is someone with compassion. You just seem to have passion. For yourself. The world would be a better place if we were left alone to handle it. Then we'd only have to talk to ourselves and that's how you get the good answers. Well, anyone in their right mind would agree you're better off on your own. Let's hope the Ark carries you all the way there. Figures it's your call who's coming with you, dumb as you might be. Boom is happy you're in his face and not some pile of dung. Says you'll meet again. Let's see. Brick bracks like this were symbols for the growth of the old world. story is as powerful as you'll let it be. Squeeze up and then down. Get the rhythm right. You snap that off, feeling pumped up. Nice find.
They can't come soon enough. Let's see. It's Whiff Waft Outpost, an old Ankarty tribe hunger down. Another shop area. They just couldn't get enough of these places back in the day, John. This place stinks. Blackness covers the world like a blanket. Looks like wholesome, a tidy little cave. That's interesting.
find his keepers. Such a well-crafted weapon. Thing you love to explore, even underground. Let's see. The Grotto. It's deep enough to explore. This would make anyone woozly. You found Bionucleus 8C. These towers are one of the main reasons the old world went under. Scrap makes top weapons. Let's see. Stay away from that biohazard, you'll want to wash yourself off for a month. Not much left of that one.
nailed it. Feel free to spit out that awful taste in your mouth. Let's see. What a waste. Bet something's up there. Let's see.
now you get it. The nightlife's about to start. That's not going to heal well. One down. Individual attention. Right out. Put that thing behind you. What a find. Okay. Nice handling. Spring out. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Just a few moves left. Make them count. It's another old world brick brack.
It's so dark out. Shop, shop. That's one just over there. Go for it. Heavy stuff won't come down for a while yet. That should last longer than most. Oh, that's rare. Let's see. You're here for a reason. It's up to you to figure out what that is.
the village of Blubbermud, which is maybe as messy as it sounds. Claims to wait a monkey palace or two. La Ara says you for Nguenya, which foot one. Let's see. There's nothing good coming out on the other side of this tunnel. Shield your eyes if the daylight hurts you. Let's see. The Wingo Outpost, a legendary Ankarti tribe joint. Let's see. Winners get to keep moving. That's the Mekton with the most.
That's a jumbo puff with an appetite. Ain't no fuzz. Better put an end to it before it ends our world. Jumbo Puff is kicking it up a notch. It's time for an electric performance. feeling about this. It goes all the way down to the stuck. Start like a snack and you'll end up with a ride down the intestinal canal. That's too close to the end station. Better pumped out than flushed down. Don't let it happen again. You see, it's the Taurus is pumping a pump. Ooh, guessed it would go down with a throw up. Can it really get any better than that? Wow, what a super-sized worm wimp. That must be as big as they come. That was the last of them. You've sealed the fate of the tribe and the tree. It's time for the end game. You have your destiny. Follow it all the way back to out of date. He never told anyone about what's next, but he's sure it involves you. Just continue to stay true to yourself and respect others whatever happens. You've become their pride, the guiding light of the tribe. What? It's time to return to the tree one last time. <coughs> He's helped out of date to get the Ark hardware restored. There's just some wiring left to do before the vessel's ready for takeoff. <coughs> he just needs to reroute the excessive high spark to run through the proper plug in the system so it won't break the path if it blows. <coughs> Gizmo isn't sure you'll need to make use of the Ark, though. It looks like your efforts to save the tree and the world are paying off. <coughs> 
He knows your good-hearted nature means you won't leave him behind, but you need to work on yourself if he's going to be isolated with you in the Ark. There are things you don't see eye to eye on. It's not that he doesn't care about others, but the fact that the Ark only has four extra seats means you have to be picky when choosing company. So, what we have here is an opportunity to help your next. Why? You don't need anyone else but yourself and me, of course, but I'm a part of you, so that doesn't count. If you want to go quickly, go alone. If you want to go further, go together. The only one we'd want to get away quickly from here is darkness. But you know you can't go on without me. Even if I'm bad company, I complete you. Hmm. I think we can finally agree on something. It is better to be alone than in bad company. But best of all is being good company yourself. He's been thinking this whole thing with the Ark through and has decided he won't be joining you. First off, he isn't 100% sure he's got the wiring right and really, he doesn't think he can stand being in that enclosed space with you for long. Gizmo will always make time for you. Wishes you goodbye. Out of date says the signs of the end of the world are everywhere. It seems nature is preparing to take revenge. Iboda Kilmok. The day of reckoning is coming, and you are invited. He can feel you're approaching the end date. If you haven't decided whom of all like-minded, light-hearted beings you've met have earned a seat on the Ark yet, it's time to do that now. Then grasp your last chance to make sure Lupa Lupin stopped for good. The tree settled its score, but it left yours half done. He says you need to see Lupa Lupin eye to eye one last time. He's happy to help. Didn't have much else to say, so no problem. 